Chapter 1 Install MapSmart Begin by powering up your data collector and connecting it to your PC. Establish communication between the two by inserting the micro USB end into the bottom of the data collector and the other USB end into your PC. Windows Mobile Device Center will launch. Open your LTI email from licensing at lasertechpartners.com that contains your temporary password and copy it. Click the link to access License Manager and log in with your email address and the provided password. It is recommended to change your password at this time. Click Download Software. The BAP Data Collector is running Windows Mobile 6 and has a QVGA display resolution. Choose Download MSI for these options. For other data collectors, these details can be found in the manual. Some browsers may display downloaded files differently. Execute the MSI file by double-clicking on it, and then click Run. Click Next through the prompts until the installation is complete. Back on the License Manager website, click Obtain License Key. Copy the MapSmart purchase ID and paste it here. On your data collector, navigate to the MapSmart icon and tap it to launch. Here is where you'll find the machine ID. Enter the displayed machine ID into the License Manager and then click Submit. The volume upgrade requires an additional license key. Copy the purchase ID for MapSmart volume and paste it here. The machine ID will be the same for volume. Copy it and paste it here. Click Submit. Both your license keys are now displayed in the far right column of the Purchases table. Enter the license key into your data collector and tap OK when complete. You know the key was entered correctly when the MapSmart main screen displays. To activate the volume upgrade, tap New, enter Test for file name, and choose Radial with Azimuth method. Tap Start, tap Next, and Done. Tap Measure, Calculations, and then Volume. Enter the Volume License key into MapSmart. Tap OK. You'll know you have entered your key correctly because the Volume Setup screen displays. Chapter 2B, Assemble True Pulse True Angle Setup.
Chapter 3, Assess Stockpile. Walk around the pile to determine your best point of view for each control point. Be sure you can see the control point behind you and establish a good position where you can see any major irregularities of the pile. It's recommended to minimize the number of control points. If necessary, you can traverse onto the pile to measure anything you can't see from the perimeter. Chapter 4B, Cable Communication Setup. Each time you use MapSmart, you need to verify the connection between the laser and the data collector. All your equipment must be powered on. Open MapSmart, choose the Utilities menu, and select Com Setup. Select the Cable option from the drop-down list. Rotate the true angle 360 degrees and back. The display will change from IND to flashing zeros. Aim at a nearby landmark and fire the laser to set your zero reference. The zeros on the true angle display will stop flashing. Fire the laser again to see the laser data string appear. Chapter 5B, start a new MapSmart file for TruePulse 200 and TrueAngle. Return to the MapSmart main screen. Tap New to create a new file. Enter a unique job name. Select Radial with Angle Mapping Method. The selected units of measure must match the laser setting. With a tape, measure the height of the center of the laser mounted on the true angle to the ground. Enter this value in the Instrument Height field. When shooting directly to the pile, side target height will be zero. Enter the height of your traverse targets and tap Start. Unless you have a known XYZ coordinate for your instrument position, tap Enter Reference Azimuth. You already zeroed your true angle when you set up your cable communication, so just tap Next. You are now ready to measure your stockpile. Chapter 6, Measure the Pile. From the MapSmart main screen, begin taking tow shots starting at the far left end of the pile. Enter tow in the note field. Tap Add to Pick List, then tap Done. Check Auto to finish all the toe shots from this position. Uncheck Auto. Aim at the first pile shot and fire the laser. Enter Pile in the Note field. Tap Add to Pick List, then tap Done. Check Auto to finish all the pile shots from this position. Be sure to shoot the pile's horizon, irregularities, ridges, and troughs. Chapter 7b, Traverse with True Angle. When you completed all your pile shots from your current position, tap the side button to change it to Trav. Aim and fire the laser at the next traverse point. Enter TRAV1 in the note field. Verify your target height and instrument height and tap Done. Occupy the traverse point and ensure your equipment is level and directly over the target. In the upper right hand corner, tap the green check mark to accept the reference azimuth. Tap the green check mark again under instrument height. Hold down the zero button on the true angle until IND displays. Rotate the true angle 360 degrees and back until flashing zeros display on the true angle.
Aim at the traverse point you just left and press fire on the laser to zero the true angle. Tap the trav button to change it back to side and repeat the process of toe, pile, and trav shots until you have measured from all traverse points around the pile. Chapter 8, End Survey. After shooting the last pile shot from your last measurement position, toggle side to trav for the final time. Aim and fire the laser at your origin point. Enter close in the note field and tap done. From the measure menu, select calculations and then closure and then closed traverse. Tap calc to review your closure results. Your closure ratio should be 1 to 100 or better when using a True Pulse 360 and at least 1 to 300 when using the True Angle setup. Tap Save to store this closure data. Chapter 9 Calculate Volume and Save Reports. Tap the measure menu, select Calculations, and then Volume. Select Toe for your base notes, and select Pile for your surface notes. Projected base is only used when any portion of your pile is against a wall. An elevation value can be used in the Volume Above field to differentiate volumes for two material types that overlay. If you want tonnage, you can tap the Materials button and add a material type. Tap Calc. The volume calculation displays in triangles or contours. These maps can be used to visually compare the measurement to the actual pile. From the MapSmart file menu, choose Save As. Edit the file name if desired. And select All Above Formats from the Report Format drop-down menu. Tap Save. If an image is required, also choose Bitmap Small or Large, and tap Save, and then tap Done. Chapter 10, Download Field Data. Connect the data collector to the PC and Windows Mobile Device Center will activate. Click on Connect without setting up your device. Click File Management and browse the contents of your device. Double click the data collector's hard drive and browse to My Documents, MapSmart, and the folder that is the same name as your data file. Copy it and make a new file to paste the data into. The new data is now on the local PC and ready for use in Excel or any CAD program.